What is up, you guys? We're gonna do a little bit of work on the RV. I'm back. So, let's just go over a quick few things that we are gonna do, and then we'll run the time lapse like we usually do. We're gonna clean all this trash up out of here. Not all of it, obviously. We're gonna leave like small pieces, but we're gonna lay a floor down right here. Put a piece up right here. Close in these sides right here and this bottom piece. And there is a lot of water damage. So, so this is probably just a temporary thing until we can get another RV and tear this one completely down, just the trailer and restart completely. Because like I said, there's so much that still needs to be done and I gotta tear stuff out redo it and it's just gonna be a huge hassle. So let's get into this. We're gonna start by cleaning up this floor. All right, so we got all the trash kind of sort of picked up. We're gonna start right here in this little area and we're going to basically put down a piece of plywood, figure out how exactly we're gonna work around this right here. I'll figure it out somewhere or another. But we also gotta go up on top of the roof and figure out how exactly we're gonna keep it from leaking right around here. Do got some silicone in the truck, so I might just do that. Hopefully that'll keep that from leaking. So it'll be stable for the meantime. Cause I really don't want to put a lot more wood into this and then just have to replace it. But looking around, show us where all the water damage is. So today we have water damage right here, all right here, here. We have some right in this area right here. Some so pretty much what you're saying is every piece of wood that we have thrown in this RV right now has water damage. Every piece, even some of the floors have water damage. I think there's only one piece that don't have water damage so far. Which it's piece is it? That, this one right here. The smallest piece out of the entire RV? Yeah, that's the only one that has water damage. All the other pieces? I don't think that one has any water damage, honestly. This one? Yeah. It actually does. Come over here, see this right here? I think that's water damage. Kind of looks like it. Yeah. And it's probably some more damage right here. Okay, there's water damage right here, so it's probably some right here too. So you thinking what I'm thinking? Tear everything out and redo it? We're gonna have to. I mean, we're still gonna put this floor down and a couple walls up, but here in the near future, we're just gonna tear it completely down. You ready for that adventure? Really? Cause I'm not. Anyway, let's jump into this. And we got almost an entire floor. Now this piece of wood was messed up cause I had it in my truck, but we're not gonna be standing over here. This piece is pretty pretty sturdy kind of not really now let's get started on this back half my main concern is getting these the bottom and this side completely covered up and if we have time we'll do this piece up here but you guys saw how difficult it was for me to put this piece up that was also by myself so I do have gable here i could probably get him to work with me to get this thing up. Anywho, let's start working down here and on these sides. Get this thing looking a little bit better. Which I mean, just the floor in. This thing looks on point. If I do say so myself. What do you say, bro, bro? Looks pretty good, I say. Even though it's got these uh, ripples right here in this corner. Yeah. Duct tape. Duct tape and sheetrock.
All right, I got that wool finished up. We got this bottom covered up. That corner finished up. I got the floor. Now all we gotta do is this piece right here. And I finally did everything in one video that I said I was gonna do and didn't leave you guys hanging. But what do you guys think? Was it starting to look roadworthy? Yeah, I didn't think so. I still got a lot to do. But like I said, I really don't think it's gonna be worth the time and the money. And really from a financial standpoint of where I am and how I'm doing things, I don't think I can comprehend or put together a reason why to do it like this. If I have the money and everything, then yeah, I'd go all out on this thing and I'd just do whatever I want to it. I'd tear everything off the trailer and rebuild it from scratch, but as it sits financially, I don't think I'm going to. Might just call this a loss, sell it for a cheap price, and then take that money and go buy another one. If you're interested, my email might be in the description. I don't really know. But there is a link down there that my Snapchat and a couple other things you can get a hold of me are. Um, there is a new social media network down there. You can sign up for free and shoot me over an email. So, what we're doing right now is measuring from here to here, side to side. I'm about to throw up a piece of wood right here. I was hoping it was going to be less than 13 inches because I have a piece of wood out here that's 13 inches wide and 8 feet long. But I got in here and looked at it and it does not look like that. And it's sitting just shy of 21. It's actually at 20 and 3 quarters. A lot wider than I thought, so I'm gonna have to cut into that new piece we got. Bob, I need your help. So let's see you cross. What do you think it is? Too long. 88 and a half inches wide. So we got 20 and 3 quarters and 88 and a half. I should have known that because I just put that wood down there. How do you feel about today's work? It feels like a lot, but it really wasn't as much as we've done. So we did get this entire wall behind him completely done. Looks amazing. Not really, it, it needs a lot done to make it look even better. As you just saw, we got this piece put up. Yes, it looks a little clunky, not as great as I'd like. Still these little waves in it, but eh, whatever. Floor is completely done. That's the big part. But we had to pull this floor panel up, that floor panel up, take the braces out that are holding this up to redo this entire side. I don't think it's worth it. So probably here in the next couple of days, we'll screw this back onto the RV so it's not leaving gigantic holes in the side. Hold a little more heat in here. That side might be okay. I think there's a little hole over here that might need to be patched up. Get on top, seal around these cans. Wait, why'd I do that? These, uh, what are they? drain covers figure out what's going on with all these lights oh look that light worked why did we not turn that light on it's getting there 
And if you haven't already, like the video, comment down below on what you think we should do with this thing. And subscribe to the page, because we're both back in town and we're getting hard. Alright, see you guys in the next video!